This Lego mech was designed totally by AI. Or was it? Recently, I've been hearing a lot about AI and how it's the next huge advancement in human technology. So with all the free AI image generators currently available, I set out to see if AI was able to generate a competent Lego set design. First, we need a set idea and a building parameters. The AI designed set can't be too big or otherwise impractical to build for the average LEGO fan. It also needs to feature looks that can be easily created with LEGO bricks, and as an additional challenge, I can only use parts I already own. I settled on a minifigure mech design, and of course, the theme has to be Captain Rex. With my parameters set, I should be just seconds away from easily generating an award-winning, internet-breaking LEGO set that can rival the professionals. Well, not exactly. The image generator spat out all sorts of results and it took me a couple hundred tries and prompt tweaking to produce only a handful of perspective designs. Apparently AI is unable to use real Lego brick models in its image generators, so I took a close look at my criteria and finally settled on this image here. Hello there. As far as I am aware, the AI is unable to give you a parts list or step-by-step -step instructions to build your model, so it was down to some good old trial and error and lots of building. A couple hours and 212 pieces later, this is the model I ended up with. Right away, you'll notice that the AI-generated model has a very large head that is not to minifig scale. I built the mech as a modular system to help with overall ease of building and also give a clean finished look to the final product. Both arms articulate up and down as well as side to side. The right hand is holding a blaster pistol and I built this custom black bowcaster weapon for the left hand. Both legs swivel from the hips for a walking movement and I included articulating toes to help balance the model while it's standing up. I tried to match the overall color scheme, keeping the legs white and blue with gray accent gears. The mech also swivels at the waist and the torso can rotate 360 degrees independently from the legs. My model also has broader and boxier shoulders, but that's to accommodate a full-size minifigure that fits securely within the mech. The official Captain Rex minifigure has too many cloth pieces to fit inside the mech. However, a normal 501st trooper fits perfectly and I swap in Captain Rex's helmet to finish the look. You only need to move a couple pieces to fit the figure inside the mech cockpit. And since the AI image does not have a 360 degree view, I was able to get creative with the back of the mech. I built two clear blue stacks to simulate power lines. In addition, I added this long black cable to power the bowcaster. The mech is huge when standing next to a minifigure. Here's the mech standing next to a 501st ATRT for scale. I came into this project believing the myth that AI can turn anything into an instant success, but my Initial real world testing proved that the individual creative process still plays a major role in set design and real world application. I will definitely be experimenting with AI in the future and am excited to see how the technology progresses. Please like and subscribe and comment below your thoughts on AI applications in LEGO Mox. Thanks for stopping by.